Hello, 7th grade band. I am here to give you your assignment for Thursday and Friday of this week. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm doing fine, minus my hair being way too long and all the haircut places being closed. But I'm doing fine. So hopefully you guys are too. Um, and hopefully you're not as annoyed by your long hair as I am. Okay. So first we'll start off with Sight Reading Factory. Another four measure stretch. Um, just something to get you warmed up and uh, hopefully some easy points for you. Okay, this will be due by the end of the day on Friday. And then for smart music, we'll be continuing with our concert piece, um, Abandoned Treasure Hunt. Okay, uh, we will do the beginning to measure 30. Or that, excuse me, that should be measure 38. It says 38 lower in the piece, and that's what will be assigned in uh, smart music. So it's the beginning to measure 38, actually. And this will be due on Saturday, April 23rd. Okay, so something to kind of keep in mind is, you know, I'm giving you three days to do this, so I really want you to work and polish this off, okay? Um, you guys have tons of time to complete your assignments, being in every other day class, okay? Um, so the beginning to measure 13, review this section, okay? Go back to last week's assignment, look and see if I wrote any comments to you about something you can improve on. Also, pay attention to, like, the red and the yellow notes. Red means you played an incorrect note, and yellow means you played a note either too early or too late, so make sure that you're kind of keeping track of, of um, your errors in the piece and try to fix those before submitting an assignment, okay? And then on to the new stuff. There's kind of three measure sections. Um, oh, one other thing I wanted to mention is the clarinets and saxophones. Make sure that with these eighth notes, saxophones have ones that are similar, they just start a little bit higher, that you're using your naughty finger, okay? B natural and F sharp for uh, saxophones, okay? B natural for clarinets, F sharp for saxophones. Okay, moving on now. Um, at measure 13, a bunch of instruments rest for the first four measures, but the clarinet, um, bass clarinet, alto, and tenor sax, and tuba play the first four measures. So the clarinets and saxophones here play eighth notes on beats one and three. One, one and three, and one and three, and one and two, and three, and one, two, three, one and. I hope I'm singing the right note, but. You know, that's kind of the rhythm and the gist of the melody, okay? Flutes, trumpets, horn, trombone, baritone, and mallets join in with that same thing four measures later, okay? So that's kind of like a four-measure loop. The first four measures are just those instruments I talked about before, and then flutes, trumpets, horn, trombone, baritone, and mallets join four measures after that, okay? Bass, clarinet, and tuba play quarter notes on beaks one and two. So let's kind of take a look at what that looks like. I'll pull up the tuba part. Tuba, tuba. What's one ba plus another ba? Tuba. Okay, I'll wait to hear you laugh. I can't hear anyone laughing. Well, I guess nothing's really changed, has it? Okay, uh, so the bass clarinet and tuba basically have boom, boom, rest, boom, boom, rest, boom, 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 and then that whole thing repeats again for the next couple measures, okay? So that's really the gist of that section. <coughs> Excuse me. Moving on. Clarinet, tenor sax, horn, trombone, and baritone keep playing, but they have a different rhythm here. So let's go, just for funsies, let's look at the tenor saxophone part for that, okay? I'm selecting tenor saxophone. Super fun, loading, love it, okay. Here we go, 22 now. Boom, 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 boom. Some notes might be different, but this group has the same rhythmic concept, okay? Make sure that you're focusing on notes and playing the notes in your key signature, okay? Um, this group also, that's kind of the melody of that section. And then um, bass, clarinet, and tuba have one, boom, 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 okay? Um, it's one play on count one, then a quarter note rest, then play on count three, and then one again, okay? So let's take a look at that quick. I'll go to, I haven't been to bass clarinet yet, so, oh, it's right there too. It's nice, convenient. Coffee break. I'm actually out. I've got a meeting in five minutes, so I'm gonna have to refill before that, okay? Here we go, 22. Boom, rest, boom, boom, rest, boom, 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 boom. boom. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea of what your part is there. And then at measure 38, the flutes, clarinets, trumpets, and bells have a variation of the melody that's played before. So the clarinet, tenor saxophone, horn, trombone, baritone 
um, these instruments kind of take what you guys had in that measure and change it up a little bit. So let's go look at the flutes. I haven't looked at the flutes yet in this video. Flutey patootie. Okay, we're loading up. There we go. Okay. You guys have rest. Two and three. Rest. Two and three. Rest. Two and three. One and two and three and one, two, three. One and two and one and two, three, one. So it's kind of similar to what that group had before in 22. Okay. In this case, flutes are resting. So you can kind of listen to that and say, hey, I play something that's very similar, but a little bit different. Tenor sax, trombone, baritone continue the melody that they had before in the last state measures. And then the bass, clarinet, and tuba also continue with what they had in the previous four measures. So I know that this three measure chunk is pretty large, but a lot of you have rest throughout this. And so hopefully it's pretty manageable. And again, you have three days to complete this assignment. So hopefully not too overbearing. As always, let me know if you have questions. Reach out to me by phone, um, email, or um, let me know if you'd like to do a Zoom conference or something like that. I'm always happy to meet with students and help them out. Okay. So um, help you guys out. I'm here for you. So hopefully you guys are staying well and happy practicing.